Let's explore the feature block in Concrete 5 version 7. So I've installed sample content and the elemental theme. And you can see right here on the home page, there's these three paragraphs with an icon, a title that's wrapped in an H4 tag, and this paragraph. Uh, these are made using the feature block. Now you could just do this with content block and, and an image, but what we've found over the years is that uh, developers often like to give site owners more strongly typed blocks uh, so things continue to look good on the site over time. So I'm going to go and add new content to the page by clicking this plus. And you can see here is the feature block. Well, let's just put it somewhere. and we get this simple overlay. The list of icons is really long, comes from Font Awesome, and uh, when you pick one, it'll display it right there, so you get a sense as to what it's going to look like. And there's a title, and a paragraph. Your feature also can include a link, uh, if you link to another page inside of your Concrete 5 site, you get the page chooser, a site map. Uh, this will keep links across your site even if you move pages. So if I move the portfolio somewhere else, this link will continue to work. Or you can link to an external URL, um, in which case make sure to include the HTTP slash slash. I'm going to go ahead and add this. You can see I've got a feature. I've got a little icon. The title is blue because it links somewhere. Um, and it's got the paragraph underneath. It doesn't look exactly like this though, and there's a way we can make that happen. If I click this block and come into Design and Custom Template, I'm going to then click this little gear, which lets me apply a custom CSS class or wrap this whole block in a custom template. So, the custom class, if I click this I'll get a list, these are classes that are defined in the style sheet of your theme uh, that would work well with this feature block. So I'm going to just pick that one and save. And now this looks more like the thing above it. It's blue because it's linked and this one isn't. Uh, the other option that is available, and this is available for many blocks, is a custom template. Uh, what's happening with a custom template is instead of just applying a different CSS style, you're actually wrapping the output of this block in a separate view layer. Uh, if you're a developer, you'll be excited about that, but uh, basically lets me rearrange everything uh, as, as it gets spit out. So I would have the same block editing interface, but now this feature looks like this. And if I publish these changes, um, you can see a little icon and the paragraph that is normally down there is now this little tab drop down guy. Uh, so if you're a site owner, feel free to use the feature block anywhere on your site and apply some custom styles to it to make it look the way you want. It's a great way to get at these cool icons that are just built right in. If you're a site developer, uh, take a look at the feature block and think of building blocks like that for your clients so you can kind of lock down parts of their pages um, instead of giving them lots of content areas and layouts, sometimes you can give them custom blocks to do things like um, you know, a headshot bio or, uh, or whatever kind of uh, strongly designed content you need to. Um, and also be sure to, to investigate custom templates, because often you can have one block that uh, powers a lot of different form factors by just using different custom templates. And as a developer, that can save you a lot of time.